What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we bid farewell to the Apple iPhone, uh, Apple Watch SE, the first generation. I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this, not when it launched, but like maybe a couple months after. It's been, I came from an Apple Watch uh, second series and I got this one. Let's see when it came out because I've been rocking it ever since then. Apple Watch SE first gen release date so i got this almost four years ago now so i've been rocking this watch for four years it's been uh my daily mostly my daily every every single day basically every single time i go out of the house i'm basically rocking it and uh i could have kept on going with it but i think it's time for me to upgrade because i am uh i just I'm into watches a lot. I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos. I, I got watch videos. But this is going to be kind of like a farewell to the Apple Watch SC. Uh, give you my thoughts and impressions. So, the battery life was um, coming towards an end. Uh, I would unplug it at around 7, 7.30 a.m. And then around 10.30, I was already at 70%. And that's with... Uh, just using it and then uh, if I did like a 20 minute workout or 30 minute workout, it would already be around 70%. So towards the end of the, the day around 7.30 p.m. or 8 p.m. when I would get home, we were rocking close, close to 20%. So this is for sure um, a watch that you could basically just use for the day like anything longer if you do more than like 15 hour days or something like 12 hour days then you're gonna have to charge it in between because some nights i would be like 10 p.m i'd go out and it would almost be dying so yeah so you're gonna have to charge this at least once a day uh the price so like what what is what is apple watch sc going for let's see let's see what it's going for and let's see if it's worth it watches apple watch sc so you can get one with 82% uh, battery life for 123. So personally, I don't think that'd be worth it because that's 80% battery life. You're almost kind of towards the uh, the below minimum of Apple. What they re what they uh, recommend you to swap or like I guess change the battery. I don't know if you even can do that, but 80% is already kind of low in my opinion. But you can pick these up for 124. How much would a new one be? Uh, filter condition new. Dang, no new ones. All right, so you can't even get a new one. Yeah, it's been that long. So, um, brightness, brightness was good. Um, the durability. I mean, for a long time, I did rock it with like a. One of those cases where, like, it covers the entire thing. So, maybe that's the reason why it didn't uh, get dinged up so bad. But, like, towards the end of it, like, the last year, I kind of took off that case. And you can see, like, scratch and dings right here. Just, like, scratch marks. Uh, little scratch marks on the side. Uh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too wild. Nothing you would be like, oh, like, that's not... It's not usable anymore it's just basically um just a couple normal wear and tear and this was the 44 millimeter too so it really really did me justice honestly i just upgraded because i'm um i'm just like i don't know why you even upgraded <laughs> i basically just wanted it i really like the satin black color on that one but this is this is basically this is just like space gray honestly but yeah uh solid features i mean it didn't have any of the of the crazy new like sleep apnea sleep apnea stuff and any stuff like that but it had basically all the basic features that you needed like workouts heart rate uh let's see what else do we have whatever ios is this ios 18 i don't know whatever ios they're on it was uh it, it worked good on it. It wasn't. It wasn't slow. It never. It never gave me any hiccups or anything like that. It was always responsive. It was honestly really, really nice. It was a good watch. 
if you guys are like a younger person or like trying to save money and you guys don't know whether you want an apple watch uh i would recommend if you guys don't don't really care too much just buy one online you can pick these up for like 120 like i said and rock it see if you guys like it. it it should still be good maybe the watch apple watch se second generation would probably be a better one i did hear rumors that um next month supposedly they're going to drop the apple watch se3 so that'll probably be re probably retail around 199 or 149 somewhere around there so that would probably be a little bit more of a worth buy honestly if you can pick up a apple watch se2 or the new apple watch se3 if it does come out but you know that's entirely up to you guys i had a really good time with it i had nothing but positive um positive experiences with it i i am really glad i got this when i got this it got me through a lot of years four years basically four years for a watch i'm hoping that this new apple watch ultra 2 will last me another five or six years i probably won't buy one for another like almost a decade i want to say but yeah um hope you guys enjoyed like this uh farewell to the apple watch sc video uh and my last thoughts and impressions i am gonna um basically reset this phone and see what i do with it reset this watch and see what i do with it so hope you guys didn't like this quick little video uh next one will probably be me pairing the apple watch ultra 2 or unboxing it and then i'll do a pairing video so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it remember to comment like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace